have you seen? There's one image that's fucking hilarious. It's like from a news article or something, and it just says the LGBT community has forgiven the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how someone could write that in earnest. I don't know if the LGBT community will be thrilled to have the baby though. I'll yeah, say I, that much. yeah. <laughs> I don't think that kind of work out. <laughs> The LGBT Council has decided your fate, Mr. Baby. <laughs> like, I remember actually reading the article out of curiosity, and it was just some random LGBT, LGBT page commented, like, it's okay, really? LG Mario D? apology or something. Not even, that is fucking awesome. Just some random page, like, why are you writing this? How do journalists, like, survive? They should be dying out like an endangered species. <laughs> they are. Good. Journalism is not profitable. There's nothing wrong with reading. Okay, kids? People will make fun of people <laughs> for reading. There's nothing wrong with reading, okay? Reading is good for you. You should read more and get off your phone. Reading is good for you. That's my... That is my little... I'm reading on my phone. I'm spit. Okay, well... Alright, you just need to fucking stop talking right now. <laughs> But I can do that on my phone, too. Yeah, yeah, I hope you fucking fall off. Dan, Get you gotta stop here. doing this shit. You gotta stop trying to get I gotta start me. paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying you gotta stop not thinking. I thought that's what you meant by you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, stop, gotta stop doing not this thinking, shit. And you gotta stop I'm like, thinking. <laughs> I'm like, damn! <laughs> She's really fucking tearing into me now. God damn. Had to happen. What I didn't deserve. Happen. Actually, I've done a lot of. I've done a lot of. Yeah, you've done a lot of things. Lot of things Let's not forget about the Geneva things. Convention, which you broke. Let's not forget <laughs> about that South Dakota bank that you robbed in '94. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're right. Eight years before I was born. Well, yeah. Listen. I was there though, somehow. Yeah, you were there. I don't care how you were there. You I just held made it work. Hostages for twelve I just, hours. I just made it work. Well, you made, made sausages. Work. Wait, yeah. what is this? What is this bit turning into? No, I said I made it work. Oh. I don't even Damn. fucking know. This this guy fridge is just fucking talking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you. Didn't didn't use the proceeds from that. his bank robbing spree to start a sausage company. You're saying I'm gonna start a sausage company? Yeah, with your proceeds from the bank robbing. Yeah, you're right, actually. I did do that. How did you know? Because <laughs> uh, I work for your sausage factory. I to think about how he's going to respond to that question. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, tell the origin story. Tell, 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 We're just, stand like, up to just the sitting here trying to like, figure out what to reveal in a public space. <laughs> Alright, tell me. Come on. Go ahead. How well, do I make this sausage factory? Um... So on June the 8th, uh, 1998, you entered uh, the First National Bank of okay. um, Butte, Iowa. Okay, of Butte, uh, Iowa, because I think that's a place. It probably is. <laughs> I don't fucking know, America. I, I need to make sure there's a continuity. <laughs> um, and you... Uh, you asked for a loan... And so the the tellers brought you into the back to sign a bunch of paperwork, at which point Possible. you pulled out a uh, semi-automatic pistol uh, and demanded everything in the vault. And upon receiving everything in the vault, you then paid for the loan with the money that you just pulled out of the vault okay. or attempted to. And the First National Bank said okay sure whatever and uh since they didn't have any money left to uh give you in the loan they filed for bankruptcy because that's what banks do when they don't have money uh and they gave you first national banks uh property as a reward but i've been Maybe. rewarded for <laughs> robbing a bank this is like the most insane world building i've seen in ages yeah, holy shit. Anyways, continue. I'm very invested in this story. Yes, so, uh, on that life. property, it's a very... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I've invested in my own life story. <laughs> it's a very large property, the First National Bank of Butte, Iowa. Uh, 
and the vault is actually large enough, you found, to fit in six sausage-making machines. Oh, yeah? So you brought six sausage-making machines into the vault, and you started Danward's Dantastic Sausages. Dantastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All this is true so far. All this is true so far. Now, how did the business succeed? Well, you hired uh, me on, and you asked me, make sausages and make profit. That's not a question. And you said, make sausages and make profit. <laughs> statement. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me a statement. Yeah, bro. Um, listen, listen, just like. Just let the man speak, all right? Just let him speak. <laughs> Try to figure it out. We'll get there. Um, but the problem was uh, meat prices in 1999 um, skyrocketed. As we all oh, know. No, I know. Right. This, is, this is the new year. This is the new year. This is the next year. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It was the Sorry, infinite... I, I shouldn't question that. I shouldn't question that. <laughs> It's your own oh, life. You should know this already. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm fucking delusional. Hey, you would have, man. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. Uh, the the infamous meat shortage of February 1999 hit, and making sausages was no longer prop, prop, profitable. One sec, uh, Dan. You right. want to see what was in that pipe? Right. I want to see what's in that pipe. That. <gasps> <laughs> oh damn! Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Boy. I'm shitting bricks. That was yeah. so interesting. Anyway, uh, the sausage. I'm shitting story. pipes. Yes. Well, 1999 meat shortage. Sausage no longer profitable. Dan comes into my office, the CFO. That's what I am. I'm the chief oh. financial officer. And he right, says, of "We're not buying meat from the market anymore." Okay. And I ask him, "What do you mean by that, Dan?" And he just says, "No more meat market." before exiting the room. That's all I say? Next, Is that it? Yes. The next uh, 10 years, um, he was somehow able to source meat, fresh meat, uh, without buying it off of the meat market. Uh, and as I began to... I, I came to realize quite quickly... Um, the people of Butte, Iowa, who had so graciously given Mr. Ward his property where he kept this sausage factory, they were going missing. Their pets were going missing. Their livestock had been going missing for years prior. Naturally. And so, curious as to where we were getting our meat, I ventured into the freezer. The freezer that I had never been in before because I'm the chief financial officer and menial labor is well beneath me. So I went to the freezer and I... <laughs> opened it up. Very big door. I walked in. I walked in the freezer. How'd you make that noise? <laughs> I made it with the door. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I still have the door. <laughs> okay, oh, it makes sense, okay. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye. But I walked into the freezer, horrified. I see around me all of the meat we've been turning into sausage. There are cats, dogs, men, women. No! <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean, though? No? You did it! You were involved! <laughs> <laughs> and shh. Terrified, I let out a blood-curdling scream, and I turn around, panicking, ready to alert the authorities. And there, standing at the freezer door, is Dan. Oh. Oh. His hand on the door. I beg him to let me live. I plead, and he closes the door. Ignore you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no. <laughs> no. My bad, my bad, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm sorry. I need, I need to lay some people off. So, get up, <laughs> go. 
You're done. Bye bye. And that's the story that of Damien's sausage company, his sausage venture. Yeah. That, you know what? That is all historically accurate. That is the second <laughs> creepy pasta you've written in the series. <laughs> it's better than the first one, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, there, there was some very good uh, world building with uh, uh, Butte, Iowa. Yeah. A, pl a, place, a, a, a very real place, by the way. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Very real. Well, the government had to take it off of uh, all of the registrars after what happened. Of course. I thought you were going to say take it off the market. That's not the term. <laughs> we Get were going to sell you at Iowa, but now we can't because there are sausages. <laughs> Probable cause. Makes sense. Probable cause. <laughs> all clears out to me. Hey, I was there. I, I would know. That's true. You were there, and you do know. Dan's a leading expert on it. And that's why, you know what? You you fucking got me. That I I have said that I was born in 2002, and I'm from Chicago. That's all wrong. I'm sorry. I've been lying to you guys this whole time. The fucking sausage mogul over here has been lying. I can't believe this shit. I fucking hate sausage mongers, dude. They That's always not even lie. The word I said. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, every time we refer to Dan, we gotta use a different word that starts with them. After sausage. <laughs> sausage ah. master. Sausage. No! Oh. I mean, uh, yes! Did you have the brain drain in Australia? The, the brain drain? The, what's the brain drain? <laughs> the brain oh, drain. You don't, you don't wanna know what the brain drain is? Well, yes, I do. You can't scare me out of another thing. It's an evil contraption. Very evil. Terrible. You're, you're blessed your country does not have to deal with the, bla the, the brain drain. It's actually really awful. Um, they hook children into these, like, weird tube machines. Can you stop making creepypastas? And, like... <laughs> 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 okay, but it's, like, an actual thing. Oh, I know it's an actual thing. I just yeah, don't believe brain. you when you say the tube thing. They just send children down tubes. Like a big slide. Like in tube. Futurama. <laughs> no. It's like a slide. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that, that's called a slide. It's fridged on a tube. It's like a normal slide, except it's covered in brain drain. Yeah. I'm not lying. I'm not I lying. I forgot that this thing exists. You know what it would be like? The Why the fuck is it called the world? brain drain? What? Wait a minute. If it's a slide. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, like, it, okay. So it's like it's like draining out of like I think like the ear, right? That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, Nickelodeon was so creative. They were they, like, they were ahead of their game. I was always disgusted by how much like weird gunk they would put in with the slime because they they wouldn't just send the kid down with the slime. They would be covered in like foam and weird dirt and shit. What? I was always like, that's just gross. That's not Nickelodeon. Because their whole like thing, like that was like the time when like every company, like every like fucking creative studio was doing like gross out humor. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes. Yeah, sense. It was, like two thousand nine. I saw uh, this one like meme, and it was actually like I, I actually like <laughs> agree with it. Like people uh, were saying like Eastern like um, fan service and like like fucking media like anime is the same thing as like gross out humor in like fucking Western like media. Like, have you ever seen that one image of Spongebob where he looks fucking repulsive? That could be any image of Spongebob, but I know what you're talking There's about. There's a lot. That's true. You know, like, those, like, um, comically evil slow claps in, like, Disney movies? Yeah. That's evil what I'm villain. doing right now. You hear, like, two claps off screen, then it cuts to the villain, and they look very smug. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so this is what you've been up to. All this training is gonna be for nothing, you realize that, right? So like the fucking oh, basketball team. Put in. It's completely worthless. The fucking basketball team. I just I always think of High School Musical when like that. I I know like that isn't like I'm pretty sure the that's fucking not a main thing in High School Musical. Movie, or, like, yeah. Like, I know I know, but like like I'm just like that's like the type of movie I always think of when I think of that like trope. Because it yeah. was I feel like it was pretty common practice in like Disney movies. It absolutely was. And then they get the buzzer beater, and it's crazy! 
It's freaking wild. You can have the equipment, but we have the spirit or some shit. I... We have the spirit. We've got the heart. Every movie is the same. <laughs> that is true. There are like two movies and we've made them a thousand times. Oh, okay, this one you actually can talk to. Yeah, I don't have to kill I it. I think that makes your killings ever so, ever so slightly... <laughs> but you are gonna kill this guy. Well, yeah, I think it, make it makes it's it worse. Different. You just killed both of this guy's friends. Okay, now you're just being racist. What the fuck? Just because <laughs> yeah, he's, he's purple, he's you're killing him? And what the fuck? That's an enemy. Oh, so now you're fat shaming. Okay, <laughs> alright, what the fuck, it, bro? What is this? He's... What's going on? He's just tall. Yeah, 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 try to find a workaround. Try to find a workaround. Yeah, fuck you. Anyway, we gotta shoot through all the rings. All the hoops? All the hoops. And now you're deflecting. In denial. I'm I'm not deflecting, I've I'm got aiming right a fucking you. cannon. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, I got my eyes on you. What I got my ever? ears open. Uh, whatever. You, whatever. Why are you opening ears? What? <laughs> not really how it okay. works. You know what? Stop. Just stop. You need to fucking stop right now. Just aim your cannon. You can't say that to everything when you have a conflict. <laughs> you gotta just say stop. And it's okay. Just fucking aim your cannon. Aim your cannon. I don't um, even care. Um... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want the Godfather to end like a Disney Channel original movie now. <laughs> I still haven't seen that very good. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen it in a while. I haven't. I, I've only seen references to it. I'll be honest. Oh. I've seen references to it, but I don't know what the context is or like what they mean or anything like that. Well, I know that. that he made enough of that we can't refuse. Like, people just say like, "Oh, it's this, that, what?" Well, all you really need to know is that they speak Italian. Interesting. That tells me everything I Fuck. need to know.